everyone, today I'm going to be talking about me starting my fat loss journey. Yes, fat loss journey. I'm not looking to lose weight, although hopefully that will happen as well. But I'm focusing on losing fat because I am training quite heavily. Well, I say training, I'm working out quite a lot doing CrossFit. So I'm not looking to lose weight as such. I'm looking more to get in shape and tone up. So I thought it'd be quite fun to share this journey with you because I know quite a lot of people out there probably be going through the same thing and I thought we could do it all together and support each other through it. So I'm going to share with you what, why I'm looking to lose weight, what my goals are and how I'm looking to achieve it. So last year I joined the CrossFit gym and thought all my problems were solved and I would lose weight like that. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. CrossFit was amazing and I would recommend it to everybody but for different reasons and I'll probably do a separate video on that. But I didn't lose weight. I maintained weight. I didn't really tone up. Yes, I got stronger. Yes, I got fitter. Mainly because it's 20% gym slash working out and 80% nutrition. And my nutrition was horrendous. I was either eating far too much chocolate and not enough food or just not enough food. I have recently looked into the MyFitnessPal app and I started tracking my food probably a couple of weeks ago and realised I was probably only eating about 1500 calories a day which to some people think well why weren't you losing weight if you were only eating that but I was also training probably four times a week at CrossFit an hour a night so with that heavy workload of exercise you need calories to be able to maintain weight loss if you don't eat enough your body just stores all of the food that you're giving it as fat as reserves because you're not eating regularly enough because another thing was I wasn't eating breakfast so although I was exercising really hard I wasn't eating a lot I wasn't seeing any results because I wasn't eating enough to get results, if that makes sense. I wasn't, I wasn't giving my body the nutrition it needed to work off the fat. So that's what I'm working towards and changing in my lifestyle at the moment to try and lose some body fat. So at the moment my body fat and weight, I will share it with you because I'm not ashamed of it. It's something we all have a weight, we all have a body fat, so I don't see why people are ashamed of it because we're all different. So my current weight as of this morning was 70 kilograms, 0.2, 70.2 kilograms, and my body fat percentage was 35.2 percent. Reason I know my body fat percentage is because I use the Fitbit scales, which I shared in my January favourites, I believe. So I'm they're fantastic skills because they do show you your body fat percentage along with your weight so you can see if your body fat percentage is going up and your weight's going down you know there's something wrong you're losing muscle not fat so i really like that to give you a good gauge and I, I do get weighed every morning at the same time that's key to make sure you're getting a fair result so i just get on the scales it does it thing and it sends all the information to the app or online and then you can check it at the end of the month or the end of the week or daily if you want to. So my goal is I'm not so fussed about what weight I'm going to be. I will be taking pictures and I will insert some clips of me before as in now and then probably in about a month's time I'll do another review, another video like this and I'll show you what progress I've made if I've made any because I'm not saying that I'm an expert on this I'm just trying what I think and what I've researched out to see if I can make a difference and if it can help you as well. So I want us to go on this journey together because people struggle. Anyway, going off on a tangent. So yes, I'm not bothered about losing weight. I want to obviously just generally in my physique look better. Um, but what I was looking to do is possibly lose about 10% body fat, so take me down to about 25%, which is a more healthy body fat percentage for a female. So that would take me down to approximately 65 to 63 kilograms, which is not far off what I would say if I was looking at weight alone would be my goal weight. So 
that's where I'm aiming for. I won't get there in a month because it's taken me probably about four years to put this weight on. I'm not going to be able to get rid of it in four weeks. And that's something else to bear in mind. You won't lose it straight away, especially if you're training heavily. It's more healthy to lose it slowly. So what I'm going to do to help me along the way is, first thing I've changed already in my diet, which I did last week, is I'm religiously eating breakfast. I never use, well, when I was little and up to probably the age of 19, 20, before I moved out, I was always eating breakfast. I always went downstairs and had breakfast before I started getting ready on the morning. Since I moved out, I got lazy, very lazy, which is probably why I got fat as well. <laughs> but yes, I stopped eating breakfast on a morning, which is not good. If you have your tea on a night at about seven o'clock-ish, and then you're not eating again until 12 o'clock the next day, that's over 12 hours that you are not feeding your body, you're not fueling your body, and you're up and about and doing stuff, so it's really important to kick start your day with breakfast. At the moment I'm having either yoghurt and fruit or a Weetabix with some milk plus a Battle Oats bar from Icon which is a protein bar because I struggle to get protein into my diet so I thought if I just have that in the morning it'll set me up better for the day. If you are struggling with your food what I recommend is and it's what I've been using is the my fitness pal app um my username if you want to add me as a friend is splodge s-p-l-o-d-g-e underscore 90 and if you do add me on there I'll you can check out what I've been eating I can check out what you've been eating if you share your diary we can congratulate each other on um target weight loss and other things like that just create a little bit of a community but you can obviously track your food in here. It will set up goals for you to hit, as in your fat intake, carb intake, and protein intake, because you do need a decent spread of all three of them, because you shouldn't cut out fat in your diet. Fat is a necessity for you to live, and you shouldn't cut out carbs. So you need to make sure that you're eating a balance of all those things in your diet, as well as generally eating healthier food anyway. So I do like that because it also highlights if you're not eating enough, which is what it did for me in the start. It made me realise that after I'd had my lunch, I was like, Ugh. I still got like 1300 calories to eat bef like in my dinner, sorry, yeah, in my dinner on the night and I was like, I can't eat that much I haven't so it, it highlights areas that you need to improve on as well so I do really like that so I'll just quickly insert a clip now of where I'm at at the moment and you'll see that my problem area is my stomach mainly and my booty I've always had a big bottom and legs etc with me dancing quite a lot when I was little um, but it has ballooned <laughs> past the point that I really want it to be. So we're going to be working on that area. In this picture, if you're wondering, I'm wearing the leggings are from Nike and the sports bra is from H&M. So I hope you'll join me on this fitness journey and see what we can achieve together because I need motivation. I, I'm useless at diet and I love chocolate far too much. And that's another thing, everything in moderation. You shouldn't have to cut anything out of your diet. You should just be able to moderate what you eat. Eat less of the bad stuff, more of the good stuff. Don't restrict yourself on going on meals out. The My Fitness Pal does have restaurant meals saved in there as well. So you can add that in and plan your day around it. Put that in first if you know you're going out for a meal on the night, then you know what you've got to play with for your breakfast and lunch. So yeah, I would recommend you following me on my fitness pal so we can all play together on there and look how well each other are doing or how not well we're doing and give it give the other person a bit of a kick to say hang on a minute what are you doing stop eating all that chocolate i know it's been easter but rein it in a bit i will catch you again in about a month's time i hopefully do another one of these beginning of may and we'll see how we're getting on i'll put some more clips in of my progress 
and feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and subscribe, like, comment what your goals are going to be and what you really want to achieve and what you're working towards. I'm working towards a holiday in September. So everyone has different goals, it might be a wedding in the summer. But yeah, just like, subscribe, comment and just join me along the way. So I'll see you in about a month's time and see if I've achieved anything. Thanks, bye!